Hello everybody and assalamu alaikum. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to color eyes. This should be the last in the eye series unless, you know, you guys ask for it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do different colors. I'm gonna do like a neutral color, a uh, fantastical color, like something that you don't find in nature. I for sure wanna do one that's just like a brown eyes, you know? So let's see, let's see, what do I want? Wow. So, this one, gonna make it that color. This one, I have um, allergies. I'm actually gonna make this like, what do you got? That's too. gonna make you these color that's not even dark enough for me I don't like that 
that one and I want you purple because you're gonna be my fantastical color make it a light purple so we can add a bunch of stuff in it all right so what I'm gonna do is every time I color a new section of any sort of a thing I always make another layer and then I turn it into a clipping normally I would have all of this organized into folders because I don't like seeing all of this just out like that but for the sake of the tutorial we're just gonna leave it open so we're gonna start on here I forgot to color in anyways not important I'm gonna start here I'm gonna have to actually it's gonna change have that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a darker color if you want the eyes to look vibrant try to stick to this side of the color instead of tor more towards white and black um, and then I'm going to have sort of a highlight color And that is literally all you should need for coloring in eyes, right? That's it. So first off, I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna use the airbrush tool. And just go around the edges. Darken up the edges. As dark as it can go. Then, after you do that, what I tend to do is, what can I figure out? That will be the iris, right? I'm gonna need a little bit bigger of a brush for this eye since this eye is closer. That's gonna be the iris. It already is starting to look like an eye, but we're not done here. Eyelids cast shadows on the iris, right? So, it's gonna be darker towards the top, lighter towards the bottom. And what we get to do with the bottom, since it's lighter towards the bottom, is take a real fantastical color, i.e. we're gonna use yellow, and I do typically do the eyes all on one layer. It's just a habit that I have just you can make dashes you can make lines you can make bars of color if you don't want to do this specific part on this layer it is a little bit easier If you don't want to do this part on this layer, it is a little bit easier to do it on another layer and pat it on top. And what you can do is, sometimes I do, is that I'll just go like this. Right? Just add a bar of color in here to brighten up the eye and then go back in with an eraser on a low density something underneath 30 and just bam right you can either do that or you can go in and also do like this and just break it up a little bit I 
I don't like to do that too often, but you can. And then afterwards, since we're working on top of it, you can add eye shine. And to add eye shine, I don't just go in with white. A lot of times, I'll take my little highlight color and make a small indentation. And then I'll hit it with the white in a smaller brush. And it makes it look like it's glowing. And boom, you got some eyes. You could also go in where, if you want the iris to be darker, just hit it with a black. That's too big. But do that like in the center. Like that. And then it brings some depth to it. But what I'm going to show you next is actually why I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that I do eyelashes on a completely different layer. Let's see. Yeah, that's a decent size brush. Ugh, my nose. I'm actually going to bring the sketch above. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put the sketch where it needs to go and resize it. I need to resize it apparently because I don't remember resizing these eyes, but I guess I'll resize them. But I sketched in the eyelashes. You see here, you can't, I don't know if you can see that. I sketched in the eyelashes because I wanted the eyelashes to, to go over the eyes in a very specific way. So I'm going to show you why. Wrong layer. Too big. And get rid of the rest right so now we're gonna uh
Wow, look at that. Sir, what having eyelashes like this does. And typically why I like, I'd say typically far too often. And why I like to make the eyelashes come over the eyes is because I'll go in with the airbrush. I love the airbrush. And above the color of the eye, I'll oh that small men's size minimum size I believe that stands for I just go in and make shadows eyelash shadows and it comes over the eye and it makes it cute and you could be messy with it and you can also add them here and it makes everything look a little bit more full But that is what I like to do. And that's what I'm going to do for these two eyes. And I'm going to go hop into time lapse for that. Alrighty, and that ends our video. I hope you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, also, subscribe to my second channel. It is, should be in on the links. Uh, support me on Etsy. I sell stickers there of my little characters. You can also find me on TikTok where I do little animations of characters, which I'm due for another animation. And pretty soon, I'll have my about a 10 minute animation on this channel if I ever get around to finishing it and in that animation I'll be telling you 
stories about my life. Stories that I find entertaining about my life. I hope this helped you guys. I hope you guys come back next week. And that's all I have to say today. Bye.